lives. Yeah. Everybody ought to know that Jesus lives. That's, That's what the kids said to us this morning. Right? That reminder, right, of who he is. Yeah. But how is the world going to know if we don't tell them? Come on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How is the world going to know if they don't see it in our lifestyle? Right. Right. How is the world going to know if we walk around looking all moody? And said, oh, 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 how is the world ever going to be convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that what they're doing isn't the way? All right. All right. All right. We got to show them, saints. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We got to live this thing out Amen. in everything that we do and everything yeah. that we say. Right. So let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for another day that wasn't promised. God, you saw fit to allow us here on this Sunday, God, to hear from heaven. You saw fit to allow through the, through the words and the voices of these young people, God, to be reminded, God, of what it is that we're supposed to do, God, of what our calling is, God, of who we're meant to be, Father God. Mm. And Father God, we just ask that you would restore unto us that childlike heart, God. Yes. Oh, that desire to share with the world, God. Yes. The desire to share, Lord God, with everyone we see, our friends, God, on yes. our left and our right, God, because we don't want to see them be lost, Father God. Mm. We ask that you would restore that drive yes. unto us, God. Restore God. It. Even right now, God. I thank you, deal with knowledge, God, for how their hearts oh, prepared God. us, Lord God, for yes. how our hearts are prepared for the word, God. Yes. Yes. And as we hear from heaven today, God, may yes. our mind and our thought process be transformed, God. Yes, that yes. we would be more like you, God. Yes. That we would walk more like you. And that yes. we would talk more like you. And yes, that we would God. be just like our brother Jesus, God. Yes. Who went around doing good, Father. Yes, God. And that yes. you would receive the glory for it, God. Right now, God, none of me but all of you. Yes. And that we poured out before your people, God. We rebuke the hand of the enemy that yes. would try to distract us, God. Yes, God. And we yes. hear from heaven today and be transformed. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus', Jesus name. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 The presence of the Lord. I'm excited about this morning. I'm excited about the word. I hope that you're excited as well. I have for a title this morning, Winning Thoughts. All right, all right. Yeah. Winning Thoughts. Right. Amen. Because it, it starts in our minds. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Before yeah. we act on anything, well, it begins with what we thought about. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The actions that we do come about as a result <laughs> of what we thought about. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I'm feeling petty when I wake up in the morning, well, all my actions are going to line up with those well, thoughts. Well, right? well, if it's well, my pettiness because I, somebody said something to me, if it's because of something I dreamed about, well, if it's because of the movie I saw or the food I ate, how what I think in my mind on, when I first wake up dictates how my day is going to be. That's That's right. That's if you have any doubt about it, consider what happens on most Monday mornings in most organizations. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens first prior to Monday on Sunday is a football game. Yeah. And guys go to work and or go to and they sit there and they watch their football game. And if your team wins, woo, <laughs> Man, you know Monday's gonna be good. Yeah. And, and, yes. just, and it's not guaranteed, but you're gonna roll out of bed like, yo, my boys did that. <laughs> and if you got a buddy at work waiting on you to get out, hey, did you see the game, dog? Yeah. Oh man, it's full throttle. Yeah. It don't right. matter if the boss is mad. It don't matter if your friend's mad. It don't matter if your wife's mad because you spent all day talking about the game after they won. <laughs> None of that matters because you hey, you good. Right. Your boys win. Right. That's right. But woe unto the man whose team loses. Monday's a long day. Everybody's talking about the game. You don't want to talk about the game. We didn't win. What's there to celebrate? Why are you so happy for it? I used to have a boss, man. I instantly could tell you how his week was going to be based on what happened on Sunday afternoon. He was a Cowboys fan. Oh, oh my goodness. I was going to hear about it all day long. I was going to be trapped in the stock room with him. We sitting there like, man, if they just went beer right, 36 left. I'm like, that's true. I knew we shouldn't have drafted him. I told everybody. I wrote Jerry Jones a letter. If he have just did what I told told him to. Come on, come on. It is a game, right? But it's his thoughts. It's our thoughts. It's the last thought. Man, you walk out the door and your wife ain't tell you she love you. Oh, man. Was she mad? Come on. What's going to happen today? <laughs> let, your, let your significant other say, hey, hey, we need to talk. You get that text, ding. Hey, we need to talk. Oh, um, shoot. 
Uh, I mean, we all we need to talk about. <laughs> Instantly, your thoughts go to racing. Instantly, your mindset's affected by what's going on. Get some unfortunate news about a loved one, something happened to him, and that's the only thing you can think about all day. Customer come up to you, hi. Hi, can I? What you want? Mm, no. <laughs> we ain't doing that. No special privileges. It's Friday. We should be happy. Mm. You didn't get my text message. Sorry, no. Yeah, right? right? It's my fault. It's the things that are external affecting me. So, so what is my point? I want you to change your thought process. Okay. I want you to change your thought process. And the reason is because so many times, the things that are influencing our thought process isn't what God would have influence right. our thought process. Right. 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 See, you see, we're sitting there and allowing the situations to determine how we respond. We're allowing the things that happen to us externally to determine what we're going to do. We're allowing the things that we think in our mind. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, this is a setup. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, why she smiling at me like that? Oh, why they wear those clothes? Oh, who they think they is? All those things. Have no bearing on what actually occurs. My Lord. That's real. Because at the end of the day, God has spoken and He has said and He has ordained and He has set into place and He has moved and is maneuvering. And you sitting there acting like, oh, this thought is what dictates. Come on, come on, that's real. And so I'm going to challenge you today to think about what you think about and then to change what you think. Amen. All right. All right. So first, let's understand some things that God says about us. Winning thoughts. God's word. God's word is literally his thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's his thoughts towards us. Okay. He wrote it down using man's hands over years and kept it sacred. He didn't just pick a random Joe Blow on the side corner to write some words down. Okay? He wasn't just like in some mystical thing way back. He made it clear and plain. Passed down over time, kept sacred over time. This is what I think about you. Come on, 66 Thank books, you thousands of words, That's examples, real. lives of people laid out on the, so you would know how he feels Lord, and what his intention is right. so that you can trust his thoughts for you yeah, so that right. you can then respond accordingly. Yeah. So when you sit there looking in the mirror, you're like, I don't like that. That don't look good at all. I need to cover that up. I need to do this. I need to go. God says, I created you. I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. I love real. you as you are. So then when you go out there and somebody says, oh, you need better if, you can ignore that. Come on. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 You guys know what God's word tells you. Right. Of course, right. if we don't know what God's word tells us. Uh -oh. Mm. Uh -oh. oh, she said that about me. See? Mm. Well, I guess I do need to change. See? My Lord. Mm. Mm. Who am I now? Mm. Now who God intended us to be. But God's word tells us that God loves you. Keep on. He tells us that he cares for you. Yes. Yes. Think about this. The almighty God, yes. maker of heaven and earth, uh -huh. the creator of the entire universe, uh -huh. All right. loves you. Come on. Uh, my, my Lord. He loves you. Yes. He cares for you. Oh, yes. The manifestation of your life is him caring for you, him loving you, him exercising, Thank him God. giving his heart. Yes. 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 Isn't that what we want from our spouse, yes. our partner, our significant other? We want somebody who loves us. A parent says, I love you. They don't then throw their child into a snake pit. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. A mother sees a, a car following a child, but she loves it so much, she yeah. flips the car back home. This is not one of any other time not that strong. Come on. But their love causes yes. Yes. Well, much the same way. Man. He loves you. He cares for you. Keep going. He wants you to be free from this trap called life. Mm. Why would I say life's a trap? Because you caught. You're not living your best life. Mm. Oh your best life was Adam and Eve in the garden prior to eating the fruits. Right. The Bible says yeah. the man and the woman walked around. They had dominion over everything. The, the earth produced. It wasn't hard. But then they sinned. Oh, right? Lord. And when they sinned, they got cursed. Yeah. Not only Adam and Eve, unfortunately, but every one of us that follow. So now the curse is that we're going to work by the sweat of our brow. Mm -hmm. We're going to scratch a living out of this earth. It's going to be hard. It wasn't meant to be hard. How many days you have a hard work? Right. I have a hard day to work. Come on. I, day I try my very best. And it doesn't seem like it's accomplishing what it's supposed to be. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. That's the curse. That's the curse. That's the curse of this life. How many women had children? 
I I don't want to have no children. My wife had three children. Them was long labors. Right? It's not easy. That's a curse. The Bible says that that's a part of the curse. So this, this is a trap. This is not what it was supposed to be. This is not how God intended it to be. I can see because he says what it's going to be. Because he promises a place called heaven. A, a home that's not this place. A place where Jesus is currently constructing. The signs all over the place says under construction. It's a place where there'll be no tears. It's a place where there'll be no pain. It's a place where I, it's not going to be this body that gets tired. That gets fatigued. But I'm going to get a new body. So if I painted a picture of what it looked like in the beginning. And a picture of what it's going to look like in the end. Then that tells me what I'm enduring right now. Oh, oh, oh. It isn't the real thing. Wow. So I call it a trap. I call it a trap because the person who's running this don't like me. See, it's the enemy who runs this world. And he spends all his days trying to keep me from getting to where I'm going to be. And so he does that by attacking my mind. He does that by showing images. See, you ain't worth it. Uh -huh. You ain't Come live on, up to it. Up. You ain't accomplished your five year plan. Yeah. You ain't accomplished your ten year plan. Yeah. You ain't where you thought you was gonna be. Oh Look at the money you don't have in the bank. Oh Look at the car you not driving. Oh Look at your friends over there doing what you ain't doing. Yeah. And so it just works on your mind. Yeah. I'm not enough. Uh -huh. I'm never gonna be enough. Uh -huh. I can't accomplish enough. Uh -huh. I'm cursed to do the same thing. Come on. Meanwhile, God says. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Right, my Lord. God's word tells us that he's always with us. Oh, always. Thank you, Lord. The disciples are standing there watching Jesus ascend. They say, where's he going? The angels say, why are you still looking? Come on. Right. He had to go but promise you a comforter yes. who would be with you yes. to lead and guide you right. so that you never have to be alone. Yes. Yes. But this world tells you if you don't have somebody, See? Come on, preacher, that's real. This world tells you if you don't have a partner, you alone. If you don't have somebody to keep you warm at night, yeah. you alone. It's about to be wintertime and everybody looking for a a winner, baby. See, you better. <laughs> so Somebody keep it warm when the fireplace is lit. I got all the images you see say you is wrong if you're not with somebody. It don't matter if it's just for the night. You got something now. I'm just talking to the culture, saints. Maybe you know somebody who out there talking about, well, I got to be with somebody in order to be somebody. That's a trap, saints. That's a lie, saints. You keep wondering why they're bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing around, because they're missing something. Because there's something inside of you that longs for something that can't be filled by somebody else. Come on. Yeah. 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 And the only thing that can fill that is the Spirit. God's Word says, I will always be with you. Let's keep going. God's Word tells us that He cherishes you. Yes, yes, yes. That from the moment you went into your mother's womb, He had a plan. Come on. Yeah. That He had formed you. Yeah, and that he has shaped you. Yeah. And that he had called you. Yeah. And that not a thing that has happened to you is not without him utilizing it to Lord. make something else better happen. My yeah. Lord. He cherishes you. Yeah. 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 Think about that word, cherish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does it mean when I cherish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They special. Yeah. They precious. Yeah. I will protect this. Yeah. I will look out for this. Yeah. I'll put this in a special place. Yeah. I don't right. just have it out Woo. so anybody can touch it. I reserve it for special moments yeah. and special right. opportunities. My Lord. And God says, I cherish you. That's what else does he say? Woo. What tells us? Hallelujah. That you are important to him. Woo. That you matter. Yes. That he would send shepherds to you to look out for you. So Mike is off today. I'm just trying I have to, to let this go. Can y'all hear me say it? Yes. yes. You are important to God. You matter. Yes. Yeah. He wants your life to be the very best it can be. My yes. Lord. My Lord. He wants you to grow. Come on. He wants you to change. Yes. He doesn't want you to stay the same. Amen. Amen. All right. He knows that in order for you to handle this, 
You have to grow through this. Come on, come on. And he, and you're too important for him to just leave you. Come on, come on. All right, all right. All right. For as much as I love my son Joshua, and he's he's cuddly and he's cute, and yes. he's a wonderful little boy, and I think he's just as precious as can be. Yes. In order for him to be all that he really can be, come on. He's got to grow. Come on, right. come on. He's got to grow. All right, all right. And there's got to be times when he wants to do something and daddy's got to say no. Come on, come on. You can't have this. Come on. You can't stay up. Come on. You can't do these things. Come you on. can't wear this. Come you can't on. watch come this. On. And yet we get mad when God says the same thing to us. Come on, God of heaven, I know you have the cattle on a thousand hills provided. He says, you can't handle it. is more important than your current feelings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. And so yeah. like a loving parent who knows their child needs a nap and that's why they're crying and say, come on. you're behind the bed. Come on, mm -hmm. come on, well, well. God will say to us, you need to wait. Oh, my mm. Lord. My, my, my. Mm. And we just like that child, oh, he's sleeping. Later come to the realization, man, if I had it got that when he when I walked, come on, that's real. Oh, it wouldn't have been good. Oh, my Lord, yeah. that's real. So it tells us that we're important. Let's go. God's word exists to show you how much you need. Mm. How much you need. And why am I emphasizing so much that God's word is important? Because at the end of the day, if you don't believe that's that right. that word is for your good. If you don't believe that God etched every single word to encourage you yeah. and to motivate you and to inspire you and to change you Come and on. to grow you, then yeah. you won't give it the authority in your life that it deserves. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Day, you'll give authority to your friends. Come on, you'll come give on, authority see. to your family. Right, right. You'll give authority to yeah. your enemies. Come you'll on, give authority to your boss. Woo! You'll give authority to your music. You you'll give authority to social media. Yeah. You'll give authority to the comedians. You better and work. Every one of them will speak into your life. Mm -hmm. They will speak yes, lies into your life. They will speak truth into your life. They will speak deception into your life. And you will eat it all up. My and then when God's Lord. word comes and says the my things it says, Right. You act like, oh, no, yeah. that can't be for me. Yeah. That's too restrictive. That's Who true. would ever do? That's right, right. My Lord. My, my, my. My, my, my. That's real. And so then you'll miss it. Mm. You'll miss what he intends for you. Right. You'll mm. miss who he intends you to be. Come on, you'll come miss on. all that you're capable of doing. Yes. Mm. If you don't believe that God's word is actually for your good. Yes. But yes. if you believe that God loves you. And if you believe his word tells you he cherishes you and that he has a plan and he's with you and that you're important to him, then just maybe, come on, just maybe, when he says wait or be patient or go to the left and not the right, right. or don't worry about what everybody else is doing, trust me or I've hid you for now until it's time for you to be revealed. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right now. So be it. So be it. Come on. So let's look at a passage of God's word. Psalm chapter 23. This is familiar. Hopefully you've known this. Perhaps even were made to memorize it as a child. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. Just think about how this thought process would change your way of acting. Just think about how this, if you believed Come on, Psalm sir. chapter 23, on, like just sir. honestly believed it, just kept repeating it to yourself. My situation isn't where I want it to be. I woke up this morning and I didn't get that. I got a notification in the bank that my funds were low. I got the, I got the word when I got to work that I'm getting a pink slip. I'm on the short list with people getting fired, not that I was on the short list with people getting promoted. I'm not having what it is that I want, but the Lord is he makes me lie down in green pasture. Just picture the image, right, of the sheep who's out there. Bah, I'm hungry. Bah, I'm thirsty. Bah, where do I go? And the loving shepherd who says, follow me. Come right here and rest. Lay down and eat more than you can handle. The sheep isn't like, what do I need to do in order to get to the green pasture? The sheep's not like, who's behind do I need to kiss in order to accomplish this? 
what do I need to morally compromise? Yeah. The sheep just says to the shepherd, bah, yes. and the shepherd knows, yes. and God knows yes. what you have need yes. of. He knew the funds was going to be low. Yes. He knew the beast that was waiting on you when you walked in the door. Yes. He already knows. You better yes. work. You better work. You better work. Yes. All right. Woo. Hallelujah, God. And yet he answers your need by reminding you. And he's got green pastures and still waters. Green pastures and still waters. Come on, my Lord. And no why he says it. He says, he restores my soul. Come on. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, my mm -hmm. Lord. So at the end of the day, what we fail to realize is God put his name on you. Come on, mm -hmm. my Lord. See, think about why you buy certain clothes, or why you wear certain things, come on, come or why you drive certain come vehicles. On, it's right. the right. name yes. that gives you confidence. Yes. That's yes. why I won't go to certain stores because I know it's made of cheap quality, yes. or it might fall apart as soon as I get it. Come but come I will go to other places yes. that might right. cost a little bit more. I know the instincts. So God puts his name on you. He put his name on the line. Jesus came down, Jesus the Christ, from which we call ourselves Christians who are Christ-like. And God says, you're going to act after my son. Well, then I'm obligated. My Lord, yeah. my, my Lord, my Lord. It's for my name, sake. It's because people is looking at you. Mm -hmm. But you out there thinking, oh, man, I just got to figure it out on my own. My, 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 and my, so you my, tell somebody you go to church, but your lifestyle don't line up with you. And then they're confused about whether you really is a Christian or why they should actually want to be one. Yes. But if you would just trust them, yeah. if your response in the midst of your storm and circumstance was, he leads me on the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. When your friends come to you, they're like, well, what you gonna do now? Uh -oh. Yay! Go on, walk. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Was my response. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. That's right. right. Come on. What you gonna do now? The Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Who you gonna call? The Lord is my shepherd. All right. All right. Where you gonna get it from? The Lord is my yes. shepherd. Yes. They might say, they might say, no, no, don't clap me because they gonna say, mm, <laughs> what your shepherd gonna do? <laughs> Bet on God, saints. Put your money on God, saints. Yes. He does it for His name's sake. Yes. 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 That's how the light shines. Mm -hmm. The light don't shine around all the other lights, mm -hmm. but in the hard, dark times of your life, mm -hmm. when everybody's looking, saying, "What you gonna do now?" Mm -hmm. God says, "If you'll trust." My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My name say, let's go. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Not that it's not going to happen, Sam. Come on, right now. Not that there isn't going to be loss. Come on. Come not that there isn't going to be life threatening circumstances. Come on now. Not that it's not going to get hard sometimes. Right. Not that there's not going to be pains and aches when you wake up. Yeah. Right? Not that you're not going to feel your age or look your age or struggle with your age. Come on. Come on. Not that your kids aren't going to disappoint you or your family's not going to betray you. But as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, as I go through the hard time, as I go through the near death yes. experience as I endure yes. life yes. and the enemy right. of your soul mm -hmm. who was out to take you out yes. and to Come take on, out yeah. your kids Come and on. to take yeah. out your kids kids right. and to end your legacy because he don't want a spirit filled legacy oh, yeah. Yeah. hallelujah mm. yeah. yeah though I walk in the valley of the shadow mm. I will fear no alright I will fear no my Lord. I will fear no, no evil. Yeah. I will that the fear can do. no Nothing evil. Yeah. I am not afraid. My, my, my. I am not afraid. There's a lot of people out here who are afraid. So, 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 so afraid. I never scared. You'll know me, B. Yeah. I roll hard up in this piece, me and my crew. Yeah. You better work. Right, okay. But your actions are in response to your fear. That's right, that's right. That's you right. rolling with your crew because you're afraid to be by yourself. Yeah. And so we seek and respond and do because what? 
We're afraid. Come because on, the Lord. culture says there's plenty of reasons to be afraid. Come on, yeah. You'll get jacked if you're driving a nice car in the wrong yes. part of town. Come on, okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. my Lord. I know guys who ride around with their guns on their lap. I'm like, bro, you can't even. You might shoot yourself. Right. <laughs> but hey, bro, ain't nobody going to jack me. <laughs> ain't nobody going to do it to me, bro. I ain't the one. Right. You know why? My Lord. Because they fear you. That's right. right. Because they fear the things that happen. Right. They fear the things that occur. They fear the circumstances of their life happening to them and them being unable to handle it. My Lord, my Lord. That's my Lord. That's my I gotta Lord. have X amount of money in my bank account. Woo. Yes. I don't care about nothing else. With this number drop Come below on. this number right here, I gotta Come go on. work 50, 60, 80, Come 100 extra hours. You gotta work. Right. Right. That's real. God forbid. No, negative. I gotta have this. This is the only thing that makes me comfortable. Yes. This is the only thing. Yes. Come on, you From, mm -hmm. Sometimes you won't understand your spouse because they're doing something that's based out of fear, Woo! but it's just a response to the fact that they haven't been changed in their mindset. My, my, Most my, of my. My Lord, my Lord. See, it's, it's too easy for you to just be out there grinding and think, oh, well, the world says you got to grind to get it, so I got to grind to get it. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that the getting it is the thing that you're afraid of. You're afraid of not having it. Yes. So you're grinding to get it. On, and you're on. missing out that it doesn't matter about what Woo. you get here. Right. Yes. 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 You gotta work. You gotta work. Come on, come on my Lord. The question is, what do you get here? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this is going in. Right. Yeah. It don't matter how nice it is while you're here. Come on, come it don't on. matter how much you have while you're here. Because right. the day will come when you will die. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Why? For you are none. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes
in the presence of my enemies. Mm -hmm. Glory. I don't need to ask who has enemies. <laughs> Maybe I should ask who has frenemies. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Sure, we all got both. My Lord. He says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Just think about that. They are on all sides flat. Your demise. Yeah. Come on, come on, They're sir. seeking yeah. to undermine you at every turn. On, Lest you think you're an original, the Bible's full of stories come of on. those who, come because on. they loved God, come were on. elevated come only to then on. be challenged yes. by those who were supposed to be supporting them. Yes. Angry about that elevation. Come on. So yes. Joseph goes into Potiphar's house, mm. a Hebrew non-Egyptian speaker, come on. and makes it excel. <laughs> and finds himself in jail. That's not how that works. That's not how this trap of life would tell you it works. You work hard, you get to the top. That's right, that's right. There was Joseph, doing well, finding himself in jail. Daniel, wise and wisdom, doing great things, finds himself elevated. They came after him for prayer. Sure did. They sure changed did. the law sure just long enough. Sure Not a forever yeah. law, oh, really? just a 30-day trial. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't it something, my Lord. To get him out the way. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes from the top to the lines. Yeah. Yeah. So you might find yourself Come on, preacher. praying, mm -hmm. seeking, yeah. doing what God says, come on, come on. wondering right. why you got so many enemies. Yeah. Right. Wondering why your friends don't want to be your friends no more. He says, in the midst Amen. of my enemies, yes. thou preparest the table before right. me. Yeah. I like it when they get yeah. mad at me. I like it when they start hating on me. Come on around me. I'm going to sit right here and eat this yeah. shit. I'm going to sit right here and be blessed in the midst of it. Yeah. You anoint my head with oil. Yeah. My yeah. cup running yeah. over. Right. The cup overflowing is a symbol yeah. of just the overflow and the abundance. Yeah. You need yeah. to understand that Come when on, you man. pray and ask God for overflow and abundance, yeah. Yeah. he's going to do so. Right. And yeah. don't expect everybody to like it. Yeah. If you're mad about the fact that people aren't going to like you, then don't ask him for a blessing. Woo! But if you ask him for a blessing, that he overflows you, don't be mad at the people around you who don't want to be around you no more. My Just mind. go on to the next level. My Lord. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Good. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house forever. David says the end state instinct mm, don't on. matter the good the bad the ugly the instinct is the house of the lord oh, yes. 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 the house of the lord forever yes. prior to numero uno is the house of the lord forever. come on sir yes. i don't care about everything else it's the house of the lord forever yes. i don't care what they say it's the house of the lord forever. Yes. 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 i want to hear lord. well done yes. i want to hear yes. well done yes. Question about. No. I don't want to be unsure about. Yeah. I don't want to be no. no. You better work. How you spell that again? See. Uh, is that Lloyd with one L uh -huh. or two L? Come on. No, bro. Come on. I need you yeah. to see me yeah. coming. Yeah. I need you. Yeah. Hey, Justin. Yeah. changing the way we do it. So a winning response means, number one, God, I trust your time. Oh. Mm. Hallelujah. Right. 
God, I trust your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, 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 so many times I want to do it in my own time. Oh, We've been God. looking yeah, at the story of Moses in yeah. Sunday school, yeah. and there's no way that Moses, when he got cognizant of thought process, said, oh, sure, God, use me in 80 years to deliver my people. Mm -hmm. See, come on, come on. But that's no way from a, Moses at 40 is like, Hey, I'm an immaculate shape. Right, right. Boy, check me out. Mm -hmm. I'm a veteran warrior of Egypt. Come on. I speak the languages. Yes, right. I have a swag. Man. I'm in the prime of my life. Come it's on, come Let's on. go. Oh, you mess with my people. Bow! Uh, dead. Hey, it's time to rise up. Wait, come wait, on. wait, wait. Wait, wait. It's, it's not time. <laughs> I mean, I'm educated. Okay, come on. I, I look good. Come on. I'm an inspiring, charismatic leader. What do you mean it's not time? Like, come on. Time me out, right? Come I just on. killed a guy. See, dead body. Time. Right. We right. all must start. Yeah, guy come on. Come on. I, right. I mean, I need to break a sweat. What's going on? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. God, I trust your time. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, Wait, so you saying I got to go in the wilderness? Yep. For what? Four. Mm -hmm. For how many years? <laughs> For 40 years. <laughs> 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 Yes. See what had happened was. <laughs> See what happened was. And I'm just saying, Moses didn't know. He just kind of figured, well, if this is not the time, then it must not go be. It must not be for me. Right. That's how we think, right? Well, God, I, mean, I tried it. I planted this seed. It hasn't, it hasn't come up yet. So, whatever will I do? They say that the bamboo tree in China, you plant the seed, and for five years you see nothing. Because all it's doing is growing roots underneath. It's growing roots underneath. And they go down, and they go down, and they interlock. And they grow. For five years, you water, and you see, and you see nothing. And then in 30 days, it grows 30 feet. Just think about that. So you've been planting for how long? And you've been watering for how long? Mm. And you've been trying for how long? Oh. And how many sleepless nights? And how many degrees? Oh. And how many oh, networks? You, on, and how many you friends sure. did you say goodbye to? Not and that. how many things did you miss out on? And how many activities did you not participate in? Because you were working and waiting and it still hasn't come. God, I trust you. Yeah. Yes. All right. God, I trust your time. All right. God, I trust that when it's time, you will do 30 feet in 30 days, That's whatever it. it needs to be. God, That's I trust yes. your timing. Yes. Joseph is there. He's in Potiphar's house. He's doing great. Why am I in jail? Come on. My love, my mama. Glory to God. Glory Lord, you gave me these dreams. Jesus, Jesus. And these dreams got me in this pit. Mm -hmm. God, I trust your time. Yes. And when we start as number two, God, I trust your plan. Mm -hmm. God, I trust your plan. See, it's not just enough to just wait on him and his timing. Mm -hmm. Can you trust that his plan is the better plan? Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, whoosh, I got a plan. What? I had lots of plans. Come on. Stand <laughs> <laughs> right. the I, I, I done wrote what plans God? and then discarded them as soon as I was done writing them. And wrote more plans and discarded them and then wrote plans and tried them and that ain't working. Wrote more plans. Better work. Sometimes I'm impressed with myself. I'm like, man, I'm pretty flexible. This plan just keep failing. I just keep writing more. <laughs> You might, you might understand that, or you might know somebody who has that same struggle. Mm -hmm. But do you trust that in the midst of all of those plans that we're writing, God has a master plan? Yes. Yes. God has a master plan. He has something that he's doing that's not just for this generation, but for the generation to come. And the generation that follows. And that you, you are a friend of God in a long line of ways that he's been working and maneuvering and shaping and doing. God, I trust your plan. Number three, a winning response is, God, your will be done in my life as it is too. This is what Jesus said in the Garden of Gethsemane. When the timing got tight, mm -hmm. when the plan got hard, mm -hmm. Jesus says, Lord, not my will. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Not my will. No not my will. I mean, think about it. Jesus was doing great things. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the bargaining? Lord, I mean, you give me just a couple more years. Mm -hmm. I can make it work a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, just imagine the movement we could start. Mm -hmm. We 
whom I can save the world without going to the cross. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yes. Come on, come on. yes, my Lord. You just start to wonder if he hesitated, if he thought to himself, is there any other way? They're about to strap me to this post and they're about to take 39 lashes of my flesh out the back. Is there any other way? Glory. But then he said, not my will. Not my will. Not my will. See, that's a response. That's, that's complete trust in God. Yes. That's complete trust in the plan. Mm -hmm. That's complete trust yes. that we were worth it. Mm -hmm. That's complete trust that it could be given to human beings. Again, think about it. God in the garden says, here, Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Here, mankind. Mm -hmm. Here is, is my love. Here is my gift. Yeah. Here yeah. at Jesus on the cross says, mm -hmm. here again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't need to sacrifice. You don't need to go through a man. You can come directly to me. You don't need a law showing you how far you fall short. It's grace and mercy. This is not my will. But yours be done. Your will, God. So will we say the same thing? Will we say, God, not my will, but yours be done? So what's a winning lifestyle look like? The winning lifestyle, I gotta take more of God's word than anything else. Yeah, that's real. That's it. Ooh, yeah. that's, 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 it. That's, that's rough right there. And listen, says, yeah. I know that's probably like the most challenging thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> because there's so much other stuff. Come on, to take. come on. Oh, yeah. 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 There is so much other stuff to yes. take in. Yeah. There's there's radio, there's TV, yeah. there's social media, there's Friends and yes. idle conversations and, and hey, did you hear this? What ooh girl, let me tell you about mm, on, bro, did on. you see that? Ooh, guess what's about to happen? Uh-huh, just sit there and watch that. There's yes. so many distractions. So real. Man. 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 So real. But that's not counting how magically every time you go to your Bible and open it up, you just get sleepy. Mm -hmm. And you just realize, man, I haven't slept like <laughs> it's like the opening the Bible turns into a lullaby, man. And so it's a challenge for me to intake more of God's word. Listen, yes. how many times have you tried to stop listening to music and then it's just like as this song just keeps popping up? Come on. You got your own playlist in your mind. Come you on. try to stop thinking about things and just memories. They just keep on. So you got all of that. So the Bible tells us that we're to renew our mind. Come on, come on. That's that we're to transform our mind. That's real. Just transform our lifestyle. Yeah. So we gotta, but we gotta be proactive, saints. Yeah. We can't just think, oh well, I came to church on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I heard the pastor no, speak no, for like an hour, yeah. and now I got enough for the week. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Some of y'all go good in the car and you know trap music gonna come on. Hello. Uh, Keep on it. Hello. <laughs> Got some little Kim and your Cardi B and your Jay Z all out there with me. Walls that's we listen to Kurt Franklin on the way in this morning, but you know, the church is over. <laughs> So then how am I supposed to get that in my soul? Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to get that planted in my spirit? Mm -hmm. How uh, It's not easy. The enemy of your soul Come makes on. it easy for you to remember lyrics, but Come hard on. for you to remember scripture. Come on, Come on. Come on. What are you talking about? I need to memorize recipes. I need to yes, memorize sir. this law and this Come rule on. and this regulation. That's real. That's and that's ain't real. nobody encouraging me to memorize Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Come on. Come on. To your own understanding. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. It's not popular. Those, that's, that's not the number one YouTube channel with millions of hits. Come on. Bible 365. We just read it to you. Uh. <laughs> Nobody's tuning in and subscribing there. Mm -hmm. So what's my point? You've got to be proactive. Yes, right. You've got to go after it. Mm. 
Yes. You've got to yes. deliberately turn off that stuff. Right. You've got to deliberately start adding the other stuff into yes. your life. Yes. you got to deliberately surround your house with scriptures and begin to put post-it yes. notes everywhere. That's begin it. to make your little index That's cards it. and stuff. Oh, and have it within it. arm's reach Come so on. that it becomes a habit and a reflex. Come oh, on. the enemy said this, but I'm going to turn to this yes. instead. You ain't going to get from me what you would have gotten. Come on. Come on. That's oh, real. Man. That's, That's real, man. Mm. Just talking about a winning lifestyle. Mm. I got to spend time with his people. Right. Who are you hanging out with? Mm. Mm. Who are you hanging out with? Mm. I do a lot of motivational videos. I do a lot of stuff online. And my boy sent me a, a, a video one day. He was like, hey, man, I know you be giving out all the time. I got you. They proceeded to give me like 30 seconds of like, hey, go get something. I was like, oh, that's cute. I appreciate that. Because I do give out a lot. And if you are Thank always you. giving, and if you're always motivating, if you're always helping, if you're always giving hope, then you need to get it from somewhere. That's, That's right, man. Right. And many of us aren't always surrounded by a body of believers everywhere you go. That's right. Your job might not be a job where everybody wants, hey, praise God, hallelujah, amen. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Yeah, chest bump, Jesus, let's go. <laughs> So if that's not your workplace, right. that means you constantly on battle. Yeah. You constantly on duty. You constantly sharpening your sword. You constantly trying to share the love of Christ. You might need to take a place to take a break. That's right. You need to be surrounded by his people. And if you fight all the time, and then you go home and you're supposed to be relaxing and chilling, but there ain't no positivity and there ain't no Christ there, you either on guard or you allowing them to speak into your life. Come on, come on. So you need to spend time with these people. You need to make it a point to be here when the doors of the church is open. Yes. You need to make it a point to be here whenever we go going live online. You need to make it a point to be connecting and yes. rehearing over and over yes. again. You got all this. You're like, I don't have no time. Minister Justin, don't you have a car ride? Mm. Don't you go to work? Mm. Don't you Bluetooth with your phone? Mm. Don't you listen to your stuff on? Mm. Why don't you listen to the scripture? Come on. Now all of a sudden you got eight hours of traffic in Atlanta every week. Oh, but you can be sharpening your sword uh -huh. and get yourself ready uh -huh. so when you step out of that car. All right, all right, all right. The Lord is stepping out there with you. Yeah. And it don't matter the first person that come at you because your sword is all this. Come on. Right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying at the end of the day, y'all acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You either ready for battle saints or you not. That's yeah, true. True. You don't get ready for battle by hanging out with people who ain't battle ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 Finally, a winning lifestyle means commit to speaking by faith no matter your circumstances. Commit to speaking by faith no matter your circumstances. So let me show y'all this picture. Jeremy, you got it? I saw this comic this week and I thought it was just epic. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> Dramatic pause. <laughs> okay. So, um, then I'll preface it this way, what he can say. So many times we think that our circumstances, right, are what our life is. And it's not. And so faith means that I speak what I can't see. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And so it demands, if I'm going to do a winning lifestyle, that I speak no matter my circumstances. Right. Now here it is. Um, okay. Not almost. So we do this all the time with how we do on our social media stuff. Because it doesn't matter what's going on around us. We frame the image that we want the world to see. Okay. And so we give them that. Well, that's all faith is. Faith is you framing your circumstances. Right. You speaking what it is that you want it to be, even if it's not currently. So it doesn't matter if the whole house is falling apart of okay. you. You speak that it's going to be right. Okay. It doesn't matter if your body's hurting. You speak that you're going to be healed. It doesn't matter what you've got going on. You speak it. So look, look, in the picture, go back just the way you had it. It's fine. Saba, on the beach. Ah, perfect summer. Hashtag vacation life. <laughs> Look at what's going on around here. Right? So, so you sitting here thinking to yourself, I'm going to go to this beach. It's going to be fire because of this picture. She posted up right here or they posted up right there. 
But look at all the other circumstances that are going on around you. You are out. Now, if you were seeing that and you saw that point and you looked at that, you'd be like, oh, hey, it's now. But that's all we do. Come on. That's all we do in life. All right, you take it away. We spend so much time framing it, trying to make the perfect image. But faith is how I speak the perfect image. Faith is how I transform my situation. So yes, the, 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 the thing's on fire and the house is burning down and my funds are low and nothing's the way I want it to be. But I speak not what I see, Come on. Oh, my Lord. Lord. but what's to come. Yes. And so I thank God in advance for how he's blessing me. And I thank God in advance for how he's providing the resources yeah. I need. And I thank God in advance for the good that he's done. And then my process who, oh, I'm about to have to let you go. Well, I thank God for the job he's already provided for me and for the opportunities that I had here with you. Yeah. And when somebody comes along and they say, oh, you ain't nothing, I thank God for what I was and what I'm about to become. Yeah. I hope that you realize yeah. that one day. And yeah. I begin to just speak into my life yes. all it becomes a lifestyle it becomes the way that I go about doing things mm -hmm. I take God's word in and I hear that more than anything else yes. so it transforms the way I behave yes. I spend time with his people encouraging on. one another on. sharpening on. one another yes. and then the words because my mind has been transformed yes. begins to speak out yes. nothing but life, life. nothing but yes. truth yes. nothing yes. but faith yes. nothing but yes. this is what it's going to be When our thoughts transform, then we'll be exactly who God will have us to be. Amen. Understand that God has called us to too much for us to stay the same. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And it is important that we understand that He loves us so much that He wouldn't leave you where you are. That's right. And so we can be a part of the process as He moves us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or we can resist the process. Mm. Right. Okay. And then it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be times when you feel like giving up. Yeah. Right? There's going to be moments when you stepped outside the boat on faith. Mm -hmm. Only to look to your left or look to your right. Because that's just life. Because we're human. But God loves us. And he loves us so much that he's willing, no matter what, to reach out on our behalf. And say, because you was willing to step out the boat, mm -hmm. because you was willing to take a step, All right. then I got you. Mm -hmm. wow. Then I'm right here. Mm -hmm. And do you see how if you will exercise your faith, mm -hmm. you can do the impossible? Yes. And so the doors of the church is open, saying, yes. are you willing to exercise your faith? No. All your life. You've been told whatever you've been told, whatever lie the enemy has told you, that yeah. you're not anything, that you can't do anything, that you're never going to be anything, mm -hmm. that you just like your family was before you, or you just another one of them there and the other. Mm -hmm. That's not what God says. No. no. And that's not who God wants you to be. Yeah. And he has such a plan for your life. Yeah. And so if you've been caught in that trap, of called life, and you've been caught in the lie that the enemy would tell you. If you have forgotten who you are, he shakes you. Mm. See the picture, cool of the garden, brand new world. Mm. God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, Jesus come down, and they start shaping. He spoke everything else. Let there be fish and the fish leap from the sea. Let there be bird, uh, four-footed creatures and the, the cows moo. Let there be birds and the eagles soar. But for this creation, ma, ma, ma. Mm. he comes down by the river. Mm. The river's flowing. The garden's cool. He scoops out fresh blood. Mm -hmm. He molds, he crafts, yes. he draws, mm. he designs. Mm. Come on. They move around and sink and they're moving and 
shaping and moves and shapes and pulls and elongates and these things. I want them to run. And he built the calves. And I want them to lift. And he carved the bicep. And I want them to breathe. And he created and formed and shaped and inserted lungs. And then he closed it up. Yeah, yeah. And he looked at the spirit and he caught it. And the spirit of life moved. And man breathed. Hallelujah. And Adam woke. Yeah. And from that. God did it for each and every one of us. Yeah. He set in motion the natural procedure of a man and a woman. But there in that womb, he goes back again and he shapes and he plants and he puts a dream and he puts a vision and he says, you'll be this and you'll be that and I'll give you. And because the breath is already there, he doesn't breathe again, but he whispers, mm. I see you. Yeah. I have a plan for you. Mm. <coughs> I want to use you. Your whole life is mine. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if we forgot that, if we gave in to the trap that we weren't anything, the doors of the church open. God would have you to know that He loves you. Yeah. 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 That He loves you enough to send His own Son. Yeah. Yeah. The pastor say it all the time. I say it. There's no way y'all can get Joshua K. Okay. <laughs> I think y'all is great people. I love y'all to death, but there's no way they, they go to the cross for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Jesus did. Oh, yeah. Jesus did. Yeah. He did it because you're worth it. Come yeah. On. Come on. Come on. Because Come on. you're worth it. Right. Listen, listen, listen. He chose you. Yeah. Because of who you know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, you thought he chose you because you was wonderful or awesome. He just wanted to save you. And there's nothing wrong with that. But he chose you also because of everyone you know. My Lord, my Lord. Because every one of your friends might not come here, but they're going to come to you. Come on. Come on. Watch out. Watch out. All right. All right. Because they're going to see yeah, your see. struggle. Because they're going to hear about them calls from your in-laws. Come on. Yeah. They're going to hear about it from your boss. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear about it from all that. And they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, so how you going to respond? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. And then you respond. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know I walk through the valley. Come on. His rod and his staff. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. When that's your response. Yeah. When they say, why you don't cry when people die, you can say, because I'm going to see him again. Oh, yes. 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 Then all of a sudden, they think to themselves, mm -hmm. well, maybe I need to know who you Come on, come on, come on. That's why God saved you. Yeah. That's why he planted you where you were. Mm -hmm. So you thought that nobody see you, that you was just covered up, that it was just the right. end of the world, right. that your dream was dead, but no, he was just building your roots. Come on, come on. Right. Come on. Right. Hallelujah. Come on. It was just transforming your mind. You had to go through some things. Mm -hmm. you, to, you weren't quite ready to be exposed. My Lord, my Lord. But your time is coming, Saint. Yeah. And if there's anything holding you back from fully trusting God, the doors of the church is open. Yeah. It's just a prayer, God. I give it to you. I surrender to you. Yeah. We'll stand yeah. with you. That's our role as ministers That's of the right. gospel. Come to on. help train you, to help stand with you, to let yeah. you know you don't have yeah. to go at it by yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Right. You're not in it alone. Yes. Should you find yourself in need of a relationship with Christ, the, yeah. the steps are hard. Maybe you realize you've been out there traveling this journey for a long time, seeking and trying to find the answer. And everybody who you turn to, your left and your right, your degrees, your dollars, Come on, your Lord, networks, Lord. and you're still short. My Lord. My Lord. Jesus says, I stand as the answer. I died Thank you, God. for you that you wouldn't have to do it on your own. Amen. The law said, here's the ways you failed. Here's the way you can temporarily get right. Jesus said, I came to end all of that. Yes. If you're looking for that relationship with him, it's easy. It's easy. And when you've accepted him, if you're looking for a place to go, if you're looking for a garden, let's say that the redwoods in California, if you go underneath the surface, uh, they don't really go that deep, but they, they connect to one another. They connect to one another. 
And so one redwood is indistinguishable from another redwood because all their root systems get entangled together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it creates such a strong network yes. Yes. that they can go hundreds of feet in the sky and where just off sheer gravity they should just fall over their roots, hold each other. Come on. Come on. Come on. And not only do their roots hold each other, but it allows them to live free. Yeah. Yeah. And to grow to just extraordinary whiffs. That's how we are. Yeah. That's how the fellowship of Jesus Christ is. Yeah. We just get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Some people that might sound like being nosy, you ready? Yeah. You come knock on your door, hey, I see That's you in a right. minute. Right. Hey, what's going on? That's right. Hey, can I pray for you? Yeah. Because we want to make sure you still stand. Oh, yes. Yes. We want to make sure that you want to fringe over there and fail. They say if a tree falls and nobody hears it, doesn't make a sound. We believe it does. Come on, my Lord. So we want to make sure that you don't fall and say, and nobody hears it. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't come and say, hey, do you need a hand? Come on, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. All right, all right, all right. That's what we do for the fellowship. So if you need prayer today for anything at all, the doors of the church are yeah. For those who come, we're going to anoint you and pray with you. For everybody else, if you just take a seat, just continue to just trust God and pray yeah. on behalf. Yeah, you can come. If you, yeah, just come on. Come. Hallelujah. Come stand you. Whatever you want to do. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,